Right, this is a lecture on inhomogeneous second order differential equations. And you'll need to know stuff from homogeneous uh, second order equations in order to solve these. And there's a link here if you don't know how to solve those. Uh, inhomogeneous, this is where you have your homogeneous, but instead of equal to zero, it's equal to r of x. And the general solution when solving these is equal, is the form y equals yp, which is our particular solution, so solving it with r of x, and yg, which is when we solve it homogeneously, we get this, and we just put, put that in there. Right. So when you're solving this homogeneously, you just let this equal to zero, forget about the r of x, and then you later solve it with the r of x in there for the y of p. Right, the y of p, now to find that, you use the, this, this formula here, which is minus y1 integral of rx y2 over the Wronskian of y1 y2 dx plus y2 integral of rx y1 over Wronskian y1 y2 dx. And you can search how to derive that somewhere. Right, now example. We need to find the general solution to x squared y double dash plus x y dash minus y equals x to the 4. Now first, we have to get this into a form which we can work with. So there's never anything above in front of the y double dash, our highest power, highest order. So we can divide everything by x squared. And this will give our r of x is now x squared our p of x is now 1 over x and our q is minus 1 over x squared. And as we can notice, we can see that our first solution is going to be y, y1 equals x. So that's given. And remember, this is just we're just solving it homogeneously at the moment. So if we had y1 equals x, differentiate it, we get 1, so it's x minus x, and of course if you differentiate again you get 0, so it's x minus x equals 0, so that's fine. For y2, this is the formula again, we solve it y1 integral 1 skin over y1 squared dx, and our formula for the 1 skin is c e to the minus integral 1 over x, because that is our p now, because we divided by x squared, remember? And this will give us log, which will cancel, so it will give us c over x. And that's our Ronskin. Now we can put that into here and solve that, which will give us minus 1 over 2x. Yes, so we've got, our, we've got our y1 and our y2. Now we can put that into this formula here. So if we put all our values in, first, well, first of all, we need to find the Ronskin for y1, y2, which is... The first one, which is x times the differentiation of the second one, 1 over 2x squared minus the first one differentiated, which is 1, times the second one, y2, which is minus 1 over 2x. So this gives us the solution 1 over x it should do, if we've done it right. So we can put that into here. Now we've got everything we need. Remember, our r of x is x squared, because we divided by x squared. And y2 is 1 over, let's have a check actually, y2 is 1 over 2x minus that. So that's why I've changed this to a minus, oh sorry, that's why I've changed uh, this to a plus. And we can divide it by the one skin, so that x goes on top. Again, follow through again, x goes on top, and we can simplify this further. So I've got I've got the x is cancelling, the x is just multiplying. Now we can solve this integral that goes to the x to the uh, x to the three, and divided by six times the other x, so it's x to the four. This one, x to the four divided by four times this, is x to the four over two uh, times. 2x on the bottom, so it's x to the 3 over 8. And now we can add this part, this is our y of p that we've generated, and remember we've got our y1, y2, so we can just add the c's in there. And this gives us the general solution is, hope you can see it, 
y equals x to 4 over 6 minus x to the 3 over 8 plus c1x minus c2 times 1 over 2x. I hope that made sense.